So I was in the middle of editing the trailer reaction to this new game, Neverus Everest, and they just dropped 13 minutes of gameplay here on Twitter. So I was looking for it online for YouTube to get a better quality image because you know how it is with Twitter, but we're going to have to watch it here on Twitter because it's the only one I can find. So this is 13 minutes of gameplay from this game that just dropped a damn trailer and all of a sudden it's like, hey, by the way, here's some gameplay. And it was just interesting because I was just talking about that in the trailer. So this is definitely, whoa. Okay, <laughs> digging the weapon. How do I get this to go away? I want this to go away. The bottom section bugs me. Just so kind of look at the in-game model. So they look at the camera. That's pretty cool, especially if you do like screenshots and stuff in-game. Uh, so it's definitely four. Okay, so we have four characters. Looks like it's kind of open world. The bit rate's kind of, <laughs> you know, what it is on Twitter. I'm gonna keep kind of refreshing on YouTube to see if I can't get it on YouTube. But damn, dude, this doesn't look half bad though, for what it is, you know. Okay, so this particular build doesn't look like it's in English, but the trailer was, so that gives me high hopes. And this is actually on the English Twitter, so that also gives me high hopes. <laughs> but yeah, it looks very uh, good, man. I mean, the game's running pretty smooth from what it looks like. The areas look cool, very vibrant. So if you're one of those people that have been waiting for a kind of more vibrant game and, you know, didn't really care for Zenless as being more in contained instance based stuff, might be up your alley, bro. You got a cat tail. Damn. You got big old boobies. Damn. <laughs> okay. You guys are going crazy in the chat. I can already hear it. <laughs> okay. So we got markers. The bitrate's not doing it any favors, but guys, take this as like kind of a, a bitrate issue. It's not a game issue. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to be quick to judge. It looks like shit. Well, yeah, the bitrate sucks on Twitter. Oh my God. Look at this dude. <laughs> the character models look really good too, though. So you got some sort of... Oh, I was hoping he's going to make it for us. It's it's a little bit like uh, urban area endless stuff, but more open world. This is cool. I'd like to see some actual combat. Look at her run, bro. She's <laughs> Whoa, you got like cars and like train. That's cool. Okay, I'm liking the city setting so far. Very vibrant, very urban. You do have an ability, so you have a Q and E, a regular attack, I'm guessing a dodge and an R, it looks like so far. So you probably have your skills, your two skills and an alt. And then it looks like you have a dodge, but you only have so many, you only have three dodges. Whoa, what happened here? Like a corrupted uh, anomaly area? Whoa, hey, this is kind of interesting. I couldn't, I wasn't paying attention to the map. Maybe this is like a map marker area. Oh, it, it kind of seems like it's almost like a supernatural, like, whoa, like a, yeah, natural fantasy type of thing. Oh my God. <laughs> whoa. Oh, possession. Yeah, it's very supernatural. Here's the gameplay for it. So I'm trying to see, it looks like they do have associated elements to them i can see the icons by their head we can definitely see some elements popping up with the numbers here this looks like a, some sort of arrow damage Ooh, we got an alt already damn that looks good damn dude okay maybe that's just does she just do that type of damage nonchalantly like there's no physical damage that's cool this is cool little areas Well, I'm liking the change of like different areas. Very dynamic. Damn. <laughs> Very interesting so far. No, oh, don't scare me, bro. <laughs> Why do you gotta do the voices? Ay, 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 ay. Oh my God. Yeah. Very supernatural. Ooh, I'm kind of digging the supernatural, honestly. Yo. Okay. I mean, it's been a minute since I've played like, I mean, I'm not saying this is super scary, but the dynamics and like kind of the atmosphere. It's very, very scary. Like horror esque, I should say. I don't know. I'm not saying like I'm scared of the game, like scared of it, but it looks cool. It's a different dynamic atmospherically. Damn, I use a big word. <laughs> Damn, I like that chick's weapon though. That shit's cool. <laughs> it's like she harnessed one of the supernatural demons or something. She's beating the shit out of it. <laughs> I like her too though. Her brawler thing. We saw her in the trailer. So, oh. I like how it's like that neon pink and green is like actually embedded in her. Oh, she has like a spirit. Whoa, do they harness the supernatural stuff and that's what gives them their powers, I wonder? 
that'd be kind of interesting like they have their own like super power or uh supernatural stuff yeah i'm really digging the transitions between different areas it's very fun oh you're just back in town <laughs> wait what the music changed too it's like doo, 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 doo. okay i mean the combat looks pretty fluid you know um it's your traditional skill skill alt type of stuff don't tell me she's gonna get in this car <laughs> oh my god she's got a porsche oh my god we could drive it sounds pretty good okay i'm digging uh the dynamics i guess and the fact that you can actually do something other than just walk dude ran a red light where's the cops at oh i guess she took a right turn that's all right but she's on the wrong side of the road <laughs> So you definitely have some i wonder how big the space is though if you need to do driving so this is definitely open world then okay that pretty much confirms it because in the trailer they were talking about day night cycles and all kinds of stuff so i wonder if you have your own loft that showed like a loft you could go into it's like a gta type of thing or what <laughs> am i stealing that car or was that my car <laughs> oh my god i almost killed that guy Oh my god do not tell me you can buy a new car oh i thought she's gonna smash through it can you customize and buy your own cars this is anime gta what the hell is this i'm kind of my interest got peaked from the supernatural stuff and now i got peaked even again because i could buy i could buy a car and you can customize it holy hell this is gta <laughs> don't tell me there's guns oh and you actually have stats for the cars does that mean you can race them is that not oh this color <laughs> so is that nos okay i mean i, I kind of like cars and stuff i don't know how well it fits the overall um, you know arcing dynamics oh my god oh look at that and that guy's just taking a photo of a taxi bro turn around <laughs> look at this porsche bro <laughs> okay i'm a little weird when games go too like kind of crazy this seems kind of crazy this reminds me of like kind of what Project Mugen was trying to do, and it seemed like insane. But we actually got physical gameplay. Like we're watching someone do it, so it's a little different. This Project Mugen was just kind of like it was in game, but it was like a, like you know in a trailer. Like it seems like this person's actually literally playing this. What is this? Oh, oh, is this what I was just talking about? Maybe this is where you buy like an apartment or something. Okay, so yeah, man. I mean. You can lease an apartment. Yeah, they showed this in the trailer where they like zoomed out through a loft. She just buy it. How rich is this person? <laughs> just bought a new Porsche and oh, there's a motorcycle. I wonder if you could drive that. I'm gonna drive these up the steps. Oh, okay. They're a little bit <laughs> nicer than that. Car sounds pretty good though. I don't know how I feel about the car stuff. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I think it's very uh, interesting to see a game take on ambitious stuff, but it makes me worry because typically when a game has a lot of ambition in a lot of different areas, they start lacking in some areas. So but that's not to say the game won't be cool. I mean, there's definitely some cool aspects to it. And GTA was able to do a lot of cool stuff with having a lot of, you know, dynamics and layers to it. So it's not totally out of the realm of possibility, but that was freaking me out just a little from the standpoint of actually looking without being able to play. I wonder if there'll be like a demo because they said something about August 2024. So I wonder if there'll be like some sort of beta or something they'll have. The seventh floor. Penthouse. They actually hang out. So is there gotcha elements to this? I mean, I imagine, right? Oh my God, this city actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little, uh, you know, PNG all the way out there. Who's the invisible butler? <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna escort me. <laughs> I imagine this is like end game. Ain't no way you're buying a loft like day one. <laughs> What's the loft gear system look like where you have to like uh mid-max your loft? We got all these like little bears. Can you sit? Tell me you can sit. That is a pretty good view. You got a bathtub outside? That's a little weird. <laughs> sit down. I want to see it. No? Got a piano. Can you do anything with any of this stuff? I mean, it's cool to look at, but if it's kind of like GTA where you can't actually do anything with it, like for the most part anyway, <laughs> I'm always kind of like, whatever. Oh, you can sleep. 
Oh, it's like, oh, you just literally sleep. I thought you were going to like lay there. So there is some day night cycle stuff. Get in that pool. You're going to have a cat or is that just a cat area? A pet would be cool, especially if you can pick the pet. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. So we got a weather system. No, sit. I thought she was going to sit. Damn it. Can you not interact with this stuff? Sleep in the bed too. I mean, this is cool. So it looked like you had some, like a little bit of variety of what you could do to customize. So I wonder if you can actually place things or if it's just like theme packages. Hopefully that's not like part of the, <laughs> you know, damn, why did you do that? <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> Whoa, she could uh, just run outside her loft and you could just float away from your loft. Okay, that's dope as hell. Now I forgot what I was totally going to say. Damn it. That's cool though. Wall running confirmed. I like that. <laughs> it's something I really like to weather waves. Transversal. Transversal? There we go. Your stamina actually goes up pretty good. I was going to say, hopefully the loft isn't part of like the pay to win stuff. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's just cosmetic, but. Okay. I mean, Twitter's not doing it any justice for the bit rate, but I imagine it looks good. <laughs> I can see the picture in my head. Uh, Twitter does not see the picture in my head. It actually probably even looks better on the video than it does to me. What do you got ray tracing on? Damn, dude. The reflections and that's pretty cool. Oh, dude. Damn. He just ran straight into that dude. So there's no vehicle damage. That's good. <laughs> you don't have to pay for your vehicle to get fixed all the time. Oh, you got first person. Oh my gosh. I thought it's all turn signal on the dashboard, but there's no turn signal on the car. <laughs> on the light, the tail light. That's fine. I wonder, can you go in first person? Like when you're walking around? Please follow traffic rules. Wait, what? Got game contact display, please. Oh, okay. It's telling people. Okay, I don't think anybody's misinterpreting this as real. I mean, like, oh shit, I should also ruin the roads. Whoa! This is a dynamic chase scene. What's this dude? Hell Rider? Who the hell's crashing behind us? <laughs> uh, chasing Ghost Rider here, apparently. Whoa, he's all on the walls, too. This looks like it was just kind of like a random event that popped up. Oh my gosh. I like how it's. Oh, it's that. Does it take you to a different? Oh my gosh. Chill. <laughs> oh my God. It is Hell Rider <laughs> or Ghost Rider. I don't know why I keep calling him Hell Rider. Oh my God. Is this a boss battle? This would be dope as hell. Get your mouse out of the way though. Wait, what? <laughs> you cut the car in half and it's like, nah, we done. <laughs> And then what does it say at the end? Okay, so yeah, be ready for more. I guess they're going to show more in August. I mean, I don't know how much more they can show. That was 13 minutes of gameplay. So maybe some sort of beta access and stuff. This game looks pretty cool. Like I said, ambition can kind of bite people in the butt, but it does look like they have a lot of cool elements in place. A lot of things you can do with driving in the loft seems very interesting because not a lot of open world games do that, especially when it comes to like the places you stay or usually just a typical like bed or just something you can kind of hang out on. And it's already given to you, you know, at the very beginning, um, you know, just not much customization goes into much of that. And then transversal is usually just, uh, you know, your dashes, your air stuff, you're running on walls. So it's kind of interesting to see some sort of like, I guess in this system, it'd be mounts for vehicles, which looks pretty interesting that you can customize and do all that stuff. So, I mean, it'd be cool to get some sort of demo and get our hands on it to actually be able to play and see basically how it feels and plays. I'm really interested in the combat and the characters look really cool too. And the story from the trailer, if you have not checked out that video, make sure to do so. It looks pretty uh, interesting to say the least. It has kind of this funny dynamic feel to it where the characters are very well versed in kind of like making each other laugh and having kind of the silliness kind of reminds me a little bit of Blue Archive with kind of how funny those girls can get. So hopefully we're able to kind of see what goes with this one. But anyway, I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Peace.